What's up everybody? This is Ethan over with Premier Auto Spa. I am out driving around today and I just finished working, got all the stuff done I needed to today. And I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of what's going on with the van. So I have a 2015 Ford Transit Connect and we have done, I say we, my wife and I, we've done a bunch of stuff to it and that's a Maserati. Uh, we've done a bunch of stuff to it to um, to make kind of fit my needs um, as far as being a, a detail van and having all the needs that I have for that. Um, so I'm going to take out to a little cool little spot. We'll take some shots of it and kind of reveal and, and show you what all is going inside now. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. hope you get some inspiration if you're looking to do a build yourself. And I'll kind of break down a little bit of what all went into it and, and how we did it. And hope you guys enjoy. All righty, here she is. And I tell you what, I absolutely loved working on this thing and making it into what it is today. I'm just gonna start kind of rapid firing some things that we've done to it. It's a KPMF color called Matte Magnetic Black. Um, first time wrapping and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, the wheels are uh, Rota um, T2Rs. Um, they're the 18 by 10s, yes, 18 by 10s somehow fit underneath of there. Um, we didn't do anything to the suspension. The suspension stock, but we did flare it out and do the fender flares. Those are just on Amazon and really gave it kind of that aggressive, super wide, like Hot Wheels van kind of look that really, I mean, how can you miss it? It catches everyone's eyes and the fitment's just pretty crazy. <laughs> um, but going on to the inside, we did the whole build out of everything. Uh, got the dresser from Goodwill actually and I kind of chopped it up it used to be a desk um, and made it fit in there we did like speaker box material to wrap it with I'm not super happy with how the wrap on it turned out but um, it's definitely fit its needs fits all my brushes and steel wool I'll just anything that I need um, just quick access is kind of in there um, got the pressure washer hose reel set up so I can pull it out I think it's 50 feet um, extension cord pulls out and retracts it's the same thing and it's all it's pretty slick set up I'm I'm really happy with how it turned out um, obviously got the big old generator um, it's bigger than what I need um, by quite a bit but it, it does the job um, it does it really well got a 65 gallon tank in here um, which we have linked up to a little water pump right there, um, which actually feeds up into, it's just a, like a little Craftsman pressure washer. That's one of the things I want to upgrade and get a better actual pressure washer itself. But um, now it's kind of the back of the generator, what I see. And that's the back of that power reel um, right there. As far as the flooring goes, we did a laminate wood floor. It's just like the click and lock in together. It was a pain in the butt prepping the bottom of that thing. This It used to have seats in it. It wasn't like a utility version. It was actually the uh, seven seater. And so we took all the seats out, prepped everything, did the wood floor, um, made sure that the water tank would fit. And overall, I mean, everything fits really clean. I have more space than I need um, for all the stuff. This is just, I mean, it's a Ford Transit Connect. I didn't do anything crazy up in the front. Um, it's just utility, it gets the job done. So yeah, and nothing too crazy. Yeah, I just, you know, Ford Transit Connect. I always try and keep some of these flyers on me. You know, after I do a job, I'll go and put them on people's doors, knock on people's doors, talk to people I see on the streets. You know, I, I have people ask me all the time while I'm detailing if I have any info. And so that's what I give them. And that's it, I mean, uh, I'm sure I could go into more crazy detail, but I, that's the gist of what we've done and making it into what it is today. Um, it's a big just statement piece. You know, I put in a lot of work myself and um, and doing the the wheels, doing the fender flares. That that part was really scary. Actually, <laughs> drilling into the side of the van. Um, they're not just like peel and stick. They're actually um, drilled in there and super solid. Um, had all the vinyling done by actually someone that I helped, uh, helped them move 
and they had mentioned that they did it and they they helped me out in getting all the vinyl cut and print on put on there so yeah this thing has been it's been really amazing um and being able to come so far i'll i'll see if i can put some pictures in i might have videos but just kind of put in what it, what it started out as and it went from a pretty boring van to probably one of the sickest detailing vans that I've ever seen. Um, I know the guys over at Auto Finesse in Europe somewhere have a super sick van similar to this. That's It's on airbags. Uh, not that crazy, but you know, I, I don't think work vans need to be boring. And so that's, that's what we went for. And I mean, you tell me, but I think that's what we got. Man, seeing these clips brings back some memories. It's been a while since it's looked like this. And um, we did the whole build in six, eight months or so. I was still kind of working in it too. So it's just kind of a little bit at a time. But man, if you guys have, if you've watched this far, man, I, I really appreciate it. This is a, it's come a long way in trying to, you know, get into this YouTube journey, quote unquote, and share a little bit of what we got. I, I just really appreciate you being here and um, hope you stay with me for the next one. And um, it's going to be good. So I appreciate you guys. And that's going to be it for today. Cheers.